Hello! Today we're going to talk about using the budgeting feature in QuickBooks Online and QuickBooks Desktop. We will start with QuickBooks Online. To create a budget, first go to the gear icon in the upper right hand corner and under Tools click on Budgeting. We've not done this before so we're going to say Add Budget and we're going to put a name for our budget. We'll say we're creating our 2022 budget. You'll see it defaults to this year. We're going to do a monthly budget, but if you click on the drop down, you can see you can also do a quarterly budget or a yearly budget. You have the option if you want to pre fill data. In this case, the defaults to no, but if you click on the drop down, you can see that you can use data from the prior year or data that you have going from the current year. So we are going to say we're going to use last year's data. And then you have the option if you want to subdivide by customers or not. And we're going to say no. We do not want to do that. So in the bottom right hand corner now, we'll just click Create Budget. This is filled in based on a sample company file, which may or may not have things in every line. But this is going through your profit and loss. So you'll see your income accounts first, your cost of goods sold accounts, and then as you scroll down, your expense accounts. So as you want to make changes to this, if we want to fill in for landscaping services, for example, that we're going to anticipate that we're going to make $5,000 a month. I'm going to put $5,000 in January. I'm going to click on the arrow and that's going to copy it across to all the other cells. So we're anticipating for the year income in this category that we'd have $60,000. If you want to adjust that, you can certainly do that if you're a seasonal business um, and so you expect that some months will be higher and some months will be lower. You can go in and make adjustments to certain months as needed to get to whatever, again, you want your total budget line to be. So for example, we still want 60,000, but some months will not be equal. You'll go down and you'll review that for all of these different categories. Again, these are everything that's on your chart of accounts. If there's things you don't want and you need to clean up on your chart of accounts, you can do that as well before you create your budget. And once you're done, you can click Save in the lower right-hand corner. So now my 2022 budget is saved. I'll find that by going to the gear icon again and going to Tools and Budgeting, and here's that budget. It says when we created it and when we last updated it. We can go in and edit it as the year goes on. If we need to adjust things, we have that option. And then the great thing is we can run reports. So if we go on the left side, we can click on Reports. And under Business Overview, we can click on Budget Overview. And here's our budget that we've put in, and if we'd like to print that or email that, we have those options if we need to provide it to management or to a board. And then if I go back to my reports list under Business Overview, I can also see there's a Budgets versus Actual report that I can also look at. And this is nice, again, as your year is going on, that you can see this is what I budgeted and this is what I'm actually at. So am I under or over budget and by what percentage? So that's how you handle it in the QuickBooks Online program. If we switch over to QuickBooks Desktop, it's very similar. I'm going to go to Company, Planning and Budgeting, and Set Up Budgets. I'm going to create a new budget, and we will, for this sample file, say that we're setting it up for last year, and Profit and Loss, and I'm going to go Next. Again, I'm not going to use my customers. I'm going to say Next. And I have the option, again, to create a budget from scratch or to use previous year's data. And in this case, again, I'm going to use try to use previous year's data. And we'll say finish. Again, in this sample file, there might not be full information, but we have some things in here, and then again, we can adjust as needed. So I'm going to go up to my landscaping services income account, and I'm going to say that same thing. I want $5,000 a month. In this case, you don't get the option with the arrow over, but you do have the option to go to the bottom left hand corner and click copy across, and that will fill that. And my total is on the left side versus online where my total was on the right side. Again, you can go in and adjust any of these months that you want to be higher or lower based on how your business typically does in a year. Once my budget is set up, I'm going to say OK. And I have the option to run reports again here. If I go to Reporting, Budgets and Forecast, first I have my Budget Overview. I'm going to look at my 2021 budget by month. And here is that report. Again, you have the options up here to print, email, whatever you need to do. And if I need to look at the how the budget versus actual is, I can do that as well.